Hi everybody, welcome back to a rather sunny Chernerus on my Daisy local server. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can spawn in vehicles or cars at a custom location of your choice, just like this rather nifty um, Ada uh, off-road hatchback that is uh, is sitting here. Because someone asked me the other day and they said, how do you do this? And I thought, I must have made a video about this in the hundreds, if not thousands of Daisy tutorials I've done. And I really, I don't think I actually have. So... There's a couple of, well, there's more than a couple of ways, but I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this. So what we've done here is basically we've spawned in a vehicle uh, south of Bolotta Airfield. Um, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's dive in. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the XML files. Now, I'm kind of relying on the fact that you're a little bit familiar with the XML files and where they are, because I'm showing you this on my local server. Um, so a local server if you're not familiar is one that's running on your local pc rather than in the cloud now remember this video applies just as much to console for playstation xbox as it does to pc um so although when you're looking at your nitrado uh, web-based browser you know when you're looking at your file structure in your server obviously it doesn't look like this it's different colors the idea is the same and you don't have all these ats if it's a console server because these are these are mods but what you'll see on um on console servers and Nitrado, you'll you'll have your missions folder, won't you? Um, and the files that we're interested in, you go into Chernerus or Enoch if you're doing Livonia, are um, we're going to look at CFG spawnable types, and we're going to look at CFG event spawns, and we're going to look at in the DB directory, we're going to look at events. So open all of those up in your favourite text editor. So you may well want to download them from your uh, server and then so you've got a backup so if something goes wrong you can change them um and so here we go so let's let's f have a quick chat first so let's have a look so what have we got so the events.xml so what does this does what does this does what does this do so the events.xml has all these events in it um and these are the things that make lots of other things appear on in daisy now this doesn't control loot that's in your types that XML, but this this controls sort of events. So things like um, zombies, um, things like vehicles, uh, helicopter crashes, Santa crashes, Christmas trees, um, the new trains, um, the new uh, vehicle convoys that are coming out soon, uh, police cars. These sorts of events are, are controlled in the events.xml. And if you look at a typical uh, entry, it will say something like vehicle off-road hatchback. Um, the nominal is eight, so eight of these should be uh, happening. Minimum is five, maximum 11, so that's kind of around that. Um, and then you have the lifetime, so how long should this event uh, kind of exist before the event disappears? Now remember, if nobody is near this event, it, it's not really happening. These are all kind of like virtual things that are happening, but they're waiting for players to come near them for them to actually pop something into existence. And if a player does come near, um, which is specified by these figures here uh, in the children section down here it tells it what what should it pop in so what it's saying here is that it's saying look with the vehicle off-road hatchback event um, you can pop in off-road hatchbacks the blue hatchbacks or the white hatchbacks and you there should be a maximum on the map at any one time five of the normal ones with a minimum of three maximum of five of the blue minimum of three maximum of five of the white the minimum of three so if there's um because events are happening all over the map it, especially when there's lots of players on the map um if there's already five ordinary off-road hatchbacks have come into existence because players are near those events you'll get a blue well or it'll be it'll randomly choose but that, that's the kind of kind of the way it works now the next thing that controls the events is the cfg event spawns so this is a list of coordinates that include where the event should happen. So what we can do, so if we go back to events and we did, we copy vehicle off-road hatchback, and we copy that. And then we go into event spawns and we just do a control F in Notepad++ and we find where that is. So there we go. So this is the vehicle off-road hatchback events and these are all the possible places where they can happen and then the angle at which the vehicle should spawn in. Now, if you go to I survive, you can find where all of these are anyway, and you can see where all these are on the map. Um, and then the final thing that we're going to look at, although we're not playing with it today, is the CFG spawnable types. So if we go back to our event, and we copy off-road hatchback, like so, 
and we go to CFT spawnable types, go to the top, do a control F, and we we search for that. What the CFG um, spawnable types does, it says, look, Daisy, or Daisy server, when the off-road hatchback spawns in because of the event and the uh, in the location where the event spawn says it should be, it should spawn with these things on. And you'll see these are all chances. So it says, look, the hatchback wheel, um, there should be a 0.8, so an 80% chance that it will spawn with one of those. And so you see these are all chances. So what you could do if you wanted to, if you change all of these to chance equals 1.00, your vehicles will spawn in complete. You still have to put some water in the radiator and put some um, fuel in them. Um, but you know you can do that and I have done other videos that show you how to spawn them with stuff in the boot as well but that's CFG spawn walk types in case you were wondering in fact what I'll probably do is I'll put a link in the description below the video to my other video it's quite old now about how to make vehicle spawning complete so that they're, they're kind of the bits of the jigsaw we need to think about when we're creating a custom um, location so the first and the simplest thing we could do is we could if we wanted to just add an extra coordinate to a particular event for it for then to have a chance of that event happening so for example here with the vehicle civilian sedan event what I've done is I looked on I survive and I zoomed in and I just found somewhere I thought right okay how about we have a, a car here and so I just hit control C copy that to the clipboard and then I went over here and I just pasted that in control V and then I made some space and then all I do is copy one of the lines like that and then copy the coordinates in like so I'm carefully trying not to make any mistakes So then deleting that and it's very important whenever you make any changes always put remarks in so you know what you've done so um, left uh, arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash extra spawn point at Cherno petrol station uh, dash dash right arrow key so th these are remarks you see so the game doesn't read them but it helps you to read your code and so what we've created there is we've now created another chance or another another place where there could be a chance of a vehicle civilian sedan. Um, and this is outside the petrol station just to the west of Cherno Gorsk, just there. But all we're doing there is really we're just creating a chance of it being there. It's not always going to be there. But if you weren't happy with the, the spawn locations of vehicles or trucks, this is how you could add some more in around the map. And um, the thing that you may well have to play around with is the A figure because that's the angle that it is um, and you think it would be zero for north but I don't think it is I think it might be slightly different but don't worry about that for now so that's one way of doing it but you may well say well actually Rob I want to spawn in a vehicle at this location and I want a hundred percent chance of this vehicle spawning in here and if we want to do that basically we need to create another event so if you go back to the events.xml what you can see here go full screen is I've created created an event called vehicle off-road hatchback custom whenever you're playing around with event it's very important to to keep an eye on the um, the prefix of the name of the event because without that being correct the event won't work so if you want a vehicle to spawn in the event must start with vehicle in fact if we go up to some of the other stuff you'll see zombie spawns always start with infected and animal sp storm spawns always start with animal because the game looks for that and goes ah right okay so this is a um, this is a vehicle spawn so what I've created here is a custom spawn wh which has a nominal of one so there'll only be one of these spawn in at the location I give it and everything is one so nominal is one minimum is one maximum is one and in the children you'll see we've got maximum one minimum one and the type which is the off-road hatchback so it's really easy to do this and I always recommend if you when you're when you're modding things it's always a good idea just to copy existing things um, and then um, 
and then modify them. So we're just going to copy the event for vehicle off-road hatchback. And then we're going to paste that in and we're going to call this vehicle off-road hatchback custom 2. Ooh, let's make it look nice. Custom 2. And again, we only want one of these. So we're going to have one in there. Our minimum is one. Our maximum is one. Um, we're going to have the blue one spawn in. So let's let's delete these bits. Delete. Delete. Let's tidy it up a little bit. Like so. Let's delete that so it lined up. So, and then you can just, just go over to, so vehicle off-road hatchback custom two, there should be one, minimum max is one, uh, it's off-road hatchback blue, all right, we haven't changed this yet, have we? So that needs to be one, that needs to be one. So we've created an, uh, an, an event, a custom event. Um, but now what we need to do, in fact, we need to save that. What we would need to do now is we need to give that event, where, where is it gonna spawn in? So this is gonna be in CFG event spawns. So again, we can copy an existing event and this is the structure that it should be. It should say event name, the name of the event, the coordinates where it spawns, and then it should end with um, uh, that. So you kind of close the event by putting like a backslash in. So if we copy that one, or you can write it out, whatever you want to do. And then we go back to events, and it's always good to copy and paste because then you know you're going to get the spelling right. So we copy that. Oop. And then we paste that into there. Vehicle off road hatchback custom two. Let's go back to our uh, I survive map, and let's go. I tell you what, this one we're going to put over. I don't know here. It's always good to put them away from other events, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail shortly. So all we do is we put our cursor somewhere where we want it. Control C to copy it. Go back to the the file. We're just going to paste the coordinates there. And then we're going to go copy, paste, copy, paste. And we're going to get rid of that. And this one was, where was it? It was south of Nizne. South of Nizne. South of Nisney. You spoke something like that, didn't you? And then we would save that. Um, and then you could upload that to your server. However, what I always recommend you do is you should go to uh, an XML validator site. And if you do any editing. And you should always check your files. So we're going to go to DB. We're going to check the events. Open. Validate. No errors are found. Fantastic. Choose file, go back up. CFG event spawns was the other one. I'll put a link to this validator in the description below the video. Validate. No errors were found, so that's good. So you could then upload them to your server, restart the server, um, and then fingers crossed, your um, vehicle would appear like this one has. Now, okay, now we need to talk about reality of what happens as well. So this, this vehicle spawns in. This vehicle is now tied to this event, all right? So when this vehicle drives away, it's not like another vehicle will then appear. This event, will, this vehicle, another vehicle will not appear here until this event, this vehicle is destroyed. So that's the first thing. The next thing is that events can be quite finicky as well. So if, for example, there was another event going on close to this, whether it would be another car spawn or a police car spawn or a zombie spawn or somebody who built a, built a building or there was something on the ground or lots, lots of other reasons, the event might not fire and your vehicle might not appear. So what I always say is whenever you're doing this sort of thing, try and choose a place where you know there's no other events happening around it and use I Survive to check that because it will show you where where police cars are going to spawn and things like that and try and do it on flat ground as well that always helps because if it's on uneven ground 
vehicles have a tendency to bounce around <laughs> and lose sync. Now, hopefully with the new update, that isn't going to happen as much. Um, and that gives you a fighting chance. Now, if after you've done all that, your vehicle still doesn't spawn, go back and really check all your code. So validate the XML, make sure you've got the opening and closing brackets, all that sort of stuff, um, because it's very easy to make, uh, make a mistake. So there we go, my friends. That, finally, I've done a video about how to make a custom car spawn. And as I say, if you want to make it so that it spawns in with everything on it and stuff in the boot, um, you have to edit the CFG spawnable types the XML, which I'll put links to in the description below this video. All right, hope you found that useful. If there's any other stuff, especially beginner's modding stuff, that you think, Rob, you've never, never done a video about this, please let me know because I've done so many videos that I kind of forget the ones that I haven't done. And I think, and I think, have I, have I covered this? Or sometimes I covered them in bigger videos where they're just a small part of it and it's difficult to find them when you're searching on Google or YouTube. Anyway, though, thanks everybody for your support. Um, hit like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more of the same, and I will, of course, see you all again soon.